answer. Um, so in this case, ladies and gentlemen, we have x squared minus 8x plus 12 divided by x squared plus 3x minus 10. Um, so in this case, now the one thing I want you guys to understand with this problem, how does this problem compare to the last problem we did? This problem, you guys can see, I have terms that are separated by subtraction and addition. Okay. Over here, I had terms that are not separated by addition or subtraction. So when they're separated by multiplication, like over here, and division, you can simply just you know, divide 54 over 9. right? However, since these are separated by addition and subtraction, we cannot just say, oh, those divide out, x squared divided by x squared. Okay? You can only do that when terms are separated by, addition, by multiplication or in division. So what we need to do is we need to rewrite these as a product. So the process of rewriting an expression as a product is called fa factoring. So I'll do the numerator, and I'll do the denominator. And basically, ladies and gentlemen, the process that we learned last chapter was what two numbers multiply to give you 12 and add to give you negative 8. Da, da, da. Negative 6 and negative 2. Then over here, what two numbers multiply to give you negative 10 and add to give you positive 3. Positive 5 and negative 2. So therefore, when I write the factored form here, I have x minus 6 times x minus 2 all over x plus 5 times x minus 2. Now, by factoring, since I factored this, you guys can see that these terms are now separated by multiplication. Now, since the expressions are separated by multiplication, I can apply the division property. I couldn't apply the division property up here because they're separated by addition or subtraction. Now, they're separated by multiplication, so you can divide them out. So your final answer is x minus 6 over x plus 5, where x cannot equal what made our denominator 0? Negative 5 and 2. So make sure you always complete in your constraints. So questions? Good? Well, let's see. If you plug in 6 into the denominator, are you going to make any of these equal to 0? No, it makes the numerator 0, but that's OK. You can divide into 0. You can't divide 0 into something. Okay.